Training.com, CWI prep course. Come visit us at our website at train-eng.com, pronounced training. This is our CWI prep course. This is a, as you go through some of these videos, these will be some snippets or samples out of our online training course. If you like what you see here in the sample section, come and visit us and take the course. Unlike a lot of other programs, we've got it set up so that you can do it a la carte. Um, if you only need, to, you know, we've got different parts of the CWI course broken out. So if you don't need to sit through and take safe practices for welding inspectors or you have some strengths that you know of and you want to streamline the process and only hit the sections where you don't really have a strong or strong background or a great deal of proficiency, our program is set up so you can take some of these parts of the CWI online course a la carte. Pick and choose, put together what you want. Leave the rest, like a Chinese food buffet. CWI prep course, well joint geometry, module four, part one. In this module, we're gonna talk about connection types, non-tubular, tubular. Then we're gonna get into basic joint types butt joints, T joints, lap joints, corner joints, and edge joints. The individual work pieces of a joint are called members. Members are classified in three ways. Budding members, non-budding members, and splice members. Okay, we're gonna throw out a little terminology. A groove, the opening provided between two members to be joined by a groove weld. Groove angle, the total included angle of the groove between parts to be joined by a groove weld. Groove face, the surface of a member included in the groove. Groove radius, the radius of a J or U groove. Groove weld, a weld made by depositing filler metal in a groove made between two members to be joined. Here's the joint types and some examples. So we're gonna go through these in a little more detail but you've got a butt joint, a lap joint, an edge joint, a corner joint, and a T joint. We're gonna look at these examples in a little more detail in the following slide. Here you can see the basic joint types. Butt joint gives you a continuity of section. T joint is for flanges and stiffeners. A lap joint, nice thing about that is there's no joint penetration. You can see we've got a corner joint, then you've got an edge joint. An edge joint is two or more parallel or nearly parallel members. A budding member is a joint member that is prevented by the other member from movement in one direction perpendicular to its thickness dimension. A butt joint is a joint between two work pieces such that in such a manner that the weld joining the parts is between the surface planes of both of the pieces joined. You can see how we've got these two pieces butted up together. That will be a butt joint. A T joint is a joint between two members which are located approximately at right angles to each other in the form of a letter T. Not too much to it. Just located approximately at right angles to each other. T joint. A splice member is the work piece that spans the joint in a spliced joint. So you can see the splice member, it's like a splint. We're not joining the two members together, we're using a splice member to join the two members together. Here's a butt joint extension, splice joints. You can see where you've got the joint members and then you've got a single spliced butt joint there and a spliced member on there. So you've made two fillet welds on the splice member to um, join the two members together. Then you've got a double spliced butt joint on the bottom where they've got filler pieces and they've got a couple of splice members. And then you've got the joint members. So you got a couple of options when you're doing a splice joint. But these are examples of a splice joint and what they'd look like out in the field. 
Now this is a corner joint. A corner joint between two members located approximately at right angles to each other in the form of an L. This is a corner joint. An edge joint. Two or more parallel or nearly parallel members form an edge joint. Lap joint. Lap joint is between two pieces of material in which the pieces overlap without any change in form. There is no joint penetration, for the most part, in a lap joint. Here are some basic joint type extensions, flange joints. You've got flanged butt joints, flanged corner joints, flanged lap joints, flanged edge joints, and flanged T joints. Lots of flange joints. Okay, now we're going to talk about the edge shape of members. So you've got a square, Single bevel, double bevel, single J, double J, flanged edge, round edge, round edge, and another round edge. So these are going to come into play when you start putting these together to make different kinds of weld joints. And that configuration is going to help with the naming convention of the weld joint. So you can have a single bevel groove weld, a double bevel groove weld, um, a double J groove weld, whatever. But these all are building blocks in our naming convention for the naming of different types of welds. Here you can see some more design variables, I guess they're called on this slide. You can see we've got the included angle, the root opening, the land, the feather edge, the backup strip, the groove radius, dihedral angle, and center line. These are all, I guess, to me, um, vocabulary words that should be entered into your vernacular, your working vocabulary as a weld inspector. And we're going to cover a lot more of these later, but we just hit them on this slide, kind of give you a little heads up that it's coming. Summary. We covered connection types, non-tubular, tubular, basic joint types, butt joints, T-joints, lap joints, corner joints, and edge joints. Our CWI, CWE Online Part A video course. $149. It's um, self-study CWI exam. Everything's an online video course. We've got one section where it's questions, questions, and more questions. Um, we've got a whole number of CWI self-study question bank. 40 bucks. Come on in. Take it. Take a look. See. Um, if you just need questions, if you've sat through another course and you just want to keep hitting the material, check out our uh, question bank, 40 bucks.